Hello and welcome to the channel Pix Outdoors First of hopefully many videos uh, Just arrived in Patterdale uh, Parks at the Patterdale Hotel car park uh, Paid for an overnight there um, And heading up to St Sunday Crag Not the one I've done before One I have done before is behind me A little bit of your place fell If I spin you round The other way that's the up to Angleton Pikes. Um, but I think it was be a bit busy up there today, so I'm going to head for what I think will be the quietest spot since Sunday Crag, and then maybe on to Fairfield. So um, this is the route up. The path starts just behind the Patterdale Hotel. Um, so we'll take you on the journey, and we'll see you on the way up. Now the approach to Arnes and Crag. So I think it's up and off to the left. Um, 430 meters. Um, it's one hell of a steep climb from the Patterdale Hotel. Um, so we'll have a look on the top, at the top of Arnes and Crag, and we'll have a look back down towards those water. Some fabulous views and we'll uh, negotiate these rocks. Reached the summit of Arneson Crag, which is 433 meters. You can see there, sent her a picture. I've ditched the bag, there's no way I was carrying the pack up here. So I'm going straight back down. So, if we turn the left, this is the top of Arneson Crag. There's some fantastic views. So you can see, sent of the picture is. Village of Hearts up. Let's just swing left. Beyond there, you've got the the roots up to the Angleton. There's your Angleton Pikes. Sent a picture. There's your tracks up. Again, sent a picture. You've got Bordale Hose, and that splits off left up to Place Fell and. Uh, as I mentioned, right to Angleton Pikes. And then if you drop down, you'll drop down to Ang Angleton, which is popular with the wild campers, but bank holiday Saturday, uh, I think it'll be very popular uh, with people there at the night. So again, there's the bag and the path, which takes us along, and then back round and up. In the foreground here you've got Burks and then on the background the peak is Gavel Pike and then to the right of that centre picture you've got St Sunday Crag which is where I'm heading to right now. So we'll get back down get the pack on and get travelling. Just leaving Arnes and Crag. It's actually nice to get a bit of flat ground, even though it's uh, a little bit boggy. Um, it is pretty flat. Just before us go on the climb up to Burks, if I just swing you around, um, 
that's where we're going up there. Swing around again. Um, so basically there, that's black rag. Uh, and that's, that's the, the halfway up Burks, and when we get the Burks, we'll have a, a good view of the tops. Um, and if I swing you around again, over my shoulder, you can see our destination is the peak of Gabal Pike. And then just off to the side of that, we've got St. Sunday Crag. Um, so onwards and upwards. So here we are nearly at the top of Burke's, um, looking back over Hellvallon Range. So you can see Hellvallon there, and then uh, Cat's Cam, I believe it is, and swinging round. I'll put all these names on the video so you can see what they are. And this is the view from virtually the top of Burke's on the way from Patterdale to St Sunday Crag. Looking back the other way, you've got some beautiful light falling on the fells. You've got the place fell out to the left, moving round to Angleton Pikes. Beautiful light. And you've got High Street, Stunning, absolutely beautiful. Not a breath of air. I don't know why the camera can pick the sound of that. Skylog, maybe? So there's a destination. Top of there. You may be able to make out the path winding its way up. I'm presuming that's the route I'm taking. So this is it, I'm walking towards St Sunday Crag. Straight ahead, you can if I stop, you can maybe just zoom in, you can see the winding path up to the top. summit of St Sunday Crag. We are here. So 
So I finally reached my destination. I've dropped down from the summit. It's far too rocky. Um, not the perfect pitch by all means, but the flattest part. Plus it's got some uh, absolutely stunning views on both sides. So I'm the east for the sunrise if we get one in the morning. All the way around Grisdale Tarn. Sun's not long gone down. And you're going over the Hellbella Range. Pretty spectacular. Couple of cans for tonight. Um, Brew Dog, Nitro, Jet Blackheart, and Urban Fog. So I'm going to tuck into those now and then have something to eat and relax for the night. <laughs> Everybody, um, waking up on St Sunday Crag on a Sunday bank holiday weekend. Not busy up here though, me and that's it. Look at those views, looking down over Oswater, you see the sun, it's just on its way up. It's around about half four in the morning. Spin you around behind me, there you've got. Alvellan and Stride and Edge. I'll spin you around again. And over this way, you can just about make out the uh, there at Angleton. And I'll bring you around. That's uh, please felt. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And then if I spin you around again, we've got the top of St. Sunday Crag. And there's the moon. So I'm camped on the other side. So overlooking Grisdale Tarn, which I'll show you very soon. For now, I'm just waiting for the sun to come up, get a few photographs. And enjoy the peace and quiet. Not a breath of air. Um, a little bit of wind through the night, but nothing to, to write home about. But just waking up with these stunning views is just whoa. It's really amazing. So that's all packed up. Um, that's where we were. Leave no trace. All rubbish taken away and a little bit extra. So on the route down, we're basically going to go down towards Grisdale Thorn and then back along the Grisdale Valley into Patterdale. So you can see behind that's where we've come from. Since Sunday Crag, um, on the way down. See, so it's easier coming down, but it's not because it's been quite rough. Switch around, fair field there. In front of you. What I'm doing is trying to find a path down to Grisdale Tarn so we can come back along the valley. Stunning views down the valley. Fairfield. See that one for another day.
So I'm just coming to the crossroads now where you can either go up to Fairfield which looks like a good slog or this looks like the path down towards Grisdale town. Looking back at that, it's awesome. But let's see, we'll save that one for another day. But it looks like a, a good hike up there. Gotta be careful with your foot and coming down here. Not far down the path, but gives you an awesome view of where I've just been. Right at the top of there, since Sunday Crag, and then come down the side, and maybe at the sea, just in the middle, there's a tent there, came just, just above that tent, and then down the path there, down to the town, to where I am now. And this is the way to Patadil. But pretty staggering. It certainly didn't take as long to come down than it did going up. That was a canny slog. See you down the path.
uh, that's where we've just come from at the final uh, leg of the journey now on the path not entirely sure where this path takes you to be honest with you but I know it's heading in the right direction and trees I haven't seen trees for a while so I'm going to sign off it's been a good one uh, all the way to the top of Sunday Crag waking up on a Sunday morning of the bank holiday weekend with the views of Helvellyn, Striden Edge, Fairfield, Grisdale Tarn, absolutely stunning, absolutely boiling hot, it's a red hot day, um, so just in time for the bank holiday weekend, so I'm going to sign off, this is the first of my videos, so once it's edited, please give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you want to subscribe I'm sure they'll get better the more I do um, this is the first one so go easy but it's been a good trip um, tiring trip but a good trip signing off until the next time see you later mm -hmm.